<laughs> it's time anniversary time. He's either going to flop as the fourth anniversary or it's going to go hard like the first anniversary. There's going to be no in between. I think we all know, for those who do keep up with Legends, who it's going to be. But I'm probably going to skip this banner, honestly. I'm going to wait for the part two in Ultra. And then summon. Alright, we have T minus 25 seconds till the anniversary information begins. Let's see what the chat thinks. Zenkai, the first thing I read is Zenkai. Oh, fuck you. What the hell is this YouTube chat? I don't know what the fuck this is. And it's ignoring the hell out of me. I don't know how to make it go away. I got 20,000 crystals in ready. I only got 10k. I'm gonna keep it a book with you. Revival UI bathed me. 10k down the drain. Rose, that's like 12k down the drain. And then I summoned a little bit on Kid Boo. And uh, tag Boo Boys. I, I have I have 10k crystals. That's enough for like two and a half three rotations. Hello everyone. I'm the producer of Dragon Ball Legends, Toshi. We hope you are all excited for today's Why video. Why do I have drumming captions this on? Is this is the fifth anniversary, so this login bonus is going to be pretty great. You'll get 10 thanks for five years sparking guaranteed summon tickets each day you log in so you can get 100 of these special tickets in 110 form. days okay that is 100 sparking character guaranteed summon tickets which are means, the lfs unlike regular free summon tickets this summon won't have hero or extreme characters what the lineup this time will even what okay that's actually characters such as super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan rose goku black and more if you are gonna get a fucking Zenkai, that'd be insane. Gain some serious power in an instant. That's actually very course, fucking good. If you're a veteran, because it's guaranteed sparking and there's LFs. Don't miss the login bonus. Sure, that's any sparking in game. There's the still summons, LFs. This login bonus will award plenty of items like energy and slot removers. That's actually fucking good. Log. Okay, that's we're actually it after a good start. Anniversary experience that much better. This next campaign is Come on, Toshi, impress me. We're comparing this to the Dogon for this anniversary now. Next up, we have a brand new event for Legends. New event. Anniversary challenge. What's this? This event is called Celebrate 5 Years Anniversary Challenge. Are they being this for back? Starters, let me explain what kind of event Wait a this second. is. You'll get to spin a roulette wheel when you log in, and depending on where it stops, you'll get various items as they a made reward. Also, this is really important, so pay attention. This roulette wheel has a total of three steps. And here are the rewards for steps one and two. Okay, not bad. There's great stuff like Chrono Crystals, Multi Z Power 100 for Sparking Characters, Slot removers. and more. And for step three, you can get these items here. What's the bag? The possible rewards are either Legends Limited, Multi Z Power 100, Chrono Crystals, 50 slot removers or a special item pack that contains useful upgrade items so you'll be a winner no matter which one you get after making it to step three the roulette wheel will return to step one meaning oh that you'll i have get the it potential to get legends limited multi z power 100 once every three days that's good there are no that's good this, so you can just log in. That's a dark. Okay, people go complain sure L in, in this. Spin every day. Like I thought, they're spam someone's playing L. But you realize, Dokkan does something similar once in a while, where it's just random bonuses for the lo It's free. They're giving you free crap. There's a chance for more free crap. So this is a W. You just get a chance to get free stuff for more. More free stuff. It's a W. There will be power up Lactating LF Kefla. This motherfucker's down bad. And he's wrong. The characters you'll be getting you you want the LF Lactating Android 21. Naturally, there are some special missions for the fifth anniversary. If you clear all of them, then you oh. can earn a whopping 4,000 oh. crystals. That's a lot. Now, for something you might remember. Poi Poi, yeah, I'm. That is right. Anniversary Fuck Hoi Poi. Fuck Hoi Poi. Fuck this. Okay, so thank you. you. The need to reset. Thank you. Fuck the step also, system. Oh my no god. That boost the number of Hoi Poi coins you get this time. So, you can W! Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck boost characters for gotcha. Oh my god, I hate that. Ah, uh, thank god they just gutted it. Ah. Oh. We'll be releasing two new event exclusive Okay, let's see. New characters. The of the fifth anniversary. Here is the first one. 
Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta will be coming as Universe an Red. exclusive character. Okay, green. This character has an effect that can boost damage inflicted depending on what arts cards are drawn. Plus, when using a strike or blast arts, damage for that type of arts will go up. So, repeatedly using the same type of arts will lead to some incredible fire. Huh. Super Vegeta. Here's the next character. Ooh. Ultimate Gohan will also be coming as a new event exclusive character. In addition to damage inflicted, Ultimate Gohan will be able to boost critical rate and critical damage and will also have many, many ways to recover key. I always love a good Ultimate that Gohan. Makes this a melee attacker who can dish out some serious damage. Both of these new characters will be obtainable. So yeah, it's going to be Tag Goku and Frieza. The anniversary special hyperdimensional co-op. I don't want to play co-op. There will be exclusive missions that you can Okay, CC. I love see power. That's W. One of justice. So it's... is Universe Eleven? Oh, it's the fucking. That side character? They gave her a fucking ultimate? Why did he give her a fucking ultimate? Oh, okay. That I could see. Okay, Jiren. That's three plus sparking characters. Oh, is that an EX and then sparking? They wouldn't give an ultimate to us. Oh, shit! It's actually a transforming Jiren! That's not an LF, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a sparking. The previous two are uh, e But they have ultimates? Oh, I can't play this. That's copyright. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Here's the LF. Here it is. We all knew it was coming. Oh, that's cool. But look, it could have been done better. I think. It looks. I'm hot though. It looks fucking sick. <laughs> There we fucking go! So yeah, that Zenkai U that UI is gonna Zenkai. First group of fifth anniversary characters is Sparking, Kawe, Kasserol, and Jiren as well. Those are all okay, that's actually a W. Okay, that's fucking W. Three Sparking. That's those Okay, W form in Trike Attack of Tag Rival Universe. Okay. Expect from a support type, Green card restores health. Ally health but and reduces. Reduce your oh, that's very engage, strong. What the fuck? Simply reducing their vanishing gauge to twice for free on a green card. <laughs> since they will no longer be able to use a vanishing step to dodge your attacks. When Kawe goes on standby, double vanish card and recover key allow a cover change into blue card to let you dodge attacks twice in a row. Jai looks interesting for support, health recovery for allies, vanish, destruction, key, draw card. However, Kawi can do more than just support. You can nullify special cover changes okay, for so far, so good. after using the main ability, and with the endurance piercing special move, Kawi has offensive abilities you might not uh, expect from a support character. Nullifies and jump. Next, okay. let's talk okay, about I'll look at that later. Casserole is based on the number of allied battle members. Okay. With three battle members, Casserole gets arts card draw speed up. If there is a mm. defeated battle member, special cover chain nullification will activate. And if there are I need to look that for because right now it looks like he Casserole gets worse because he loses card effect. draw speed. Each of these effects is if, pretty powerful. Yeah. The best is yet to come, however. When changing cover, Casserole will reduce enemy key, destroy one of their cards, and even reduce their vanishing gauge to zero. Oh, that's very Plus, strong, actually. The main ability draws an ultimate arts, and if there is a defeated battle member, all enemies will be inflicted with no switching. 
put all these effects together. You can, you can stop wait. Opponent's attacks, rob them of their vanishing That's main, yeah, and so you can main ability and rush someone. No That's very Maybe strong. Okay, Castle looks very good so far. Yo, defensive, Jiren yellow, yellow, okay. Defense type. Jiren's C ability 3 will boost the base blast attack and strike defense of Tag's universe rep. Powerful no ultra? Yeah, they're not gonna defense. do an ultra part one. That's probably Plus, gonna be next year, honestly. The base blast defense of Tag Universe Rep. Starting with Jiren's pre transformation abilities for 60 timer counts after the battle starts, abnormal good. conditions will be nullified. It good. feels pretty good to face down your opponent without fear of things like paralyze or faint. Jiren's Fuck Jose, W. Be nullified when entering the battlefield and Jiren will recover health after Okay, that's a good look so far. That's just like you'd expect from a defense type. The cover change is pretty strong too. So we can compete with Kid Boo and powerful opponent. Strike arts and will reduce the enemy's Dragon Balls by one and inflict all enemies with plus 20 to all arts costs. That's very, that is, can get annoying, the plus, plus 20 to cost. After changing cover, all the enemy's arts card draw speed will be reduced by two levels and their key recovery Ooh. speed will be reduced by 50%. Jiren allows is that gonna be... you to easily get back on top in battle. Jiren will transform into Jiren full power and again reduce the enemy's dragon balls by one. I like that. The main ability. I like that so far. Jiren can survive even longer by making it harder to launch a rising rush. The main ability after transforming will nullify enemy special cover changes, increase draw speed, and boost damage inflicted, making it an excellent offensive ability. Two of the post-transformation abilities are particularly interesting. Uh, Using the special okay, arts I need to look at that later. In okay. that will allow you to counter strike arts. If you activate the counter, the enemy special cover changes will be nullified for a set period of time, Ooh. and you'll be able to counter attack. It basically lets you turn the tide in one move. The other interesting ability is totally new. It allows Jiren to nullify the enemy's wide range special move arts. It will only activate once, but this is one way to defend against characters like Ultra Boo Kid, who like to just blast away with their wide range special arts. Jiren will also have bonus damage against Tag God Key, so. Combined with the ability so he ignores to a okay, that's actually Jiren very good. Go okay. With... Last, but certainly not least, let's talk about Goku and Final what? Form Frieza. What? It's not a reverse. Goku and Final Form Frieza is a melee type. Goku is purple, but Frieza is blue. And Frieza is me. Frieza Force. He, it might be a warrior, must for LOE, honestly. Warrior, it might be a must for LOE. As you can see, that covers both purple and blue. Both Goku and Frieza. Z ability three will boost base strike attack and defense for universe rep, Saiyan, and lineage of. With a melee, that is OE's fucking blast base, base. Blast defense for universe rep characters. The biggest feature of this character is the ability to counter rising rushes. What the fuck? That Goku and Frieza time. Plus. Depending on the number of tag switches that you have performed, okay, you get what? even more buff, each gaining different offensive boosts. Um... Also, if there's a defeated battle member, Goku and Frieza will recover health and seal the enemy's main ability upon entering the battlefield. Okay. This character also has a special cover change against strike arts, a special move arts that can nullify endurance, and okay. more. It is jam packed with powerful abilities. We need to see the. Survive we need to see the what the fuck. Of battle with the rising rush counter and health recovery effects, then unleash some incredibly fearsome firepower to end the battle. Them, this is Kid Boo, no, them, we MVP 17, Casserole, Jiren, and Goku and Final Form Frieza. And it's Jiren, yeah. Characters for yourselves. The fuck. For more details about their abilities. Please check the site in the video description after the premiere finishes. I'll do that. More okay, cool. More CC. Permanent missions That's the W. New additions with incredible new rewards. Here are the missions being added. Clearing part 5 of the main story will earn you 500 Chrono Crystals. Clearing part 10 will earn That's you free fucking CC. Okay. While clearing part 13 will earn you a whopping W. Crystals. I just get you fucking what? I get 12 KC, 1.2 KC is free. Okay. Part nine it's fine. Thank you. I thank God I keep up with the story. <laughs> this to this great event. 
Raids? Okay, that's always good. Non-stop anniversary raids. These are non-stop yeah, raids a bonus. and Fuck. there will be seven in total throughout the anniversary. Seven? Campaign. You can challenge them as many times as you like. That's gonna be a shit. Forty-nine thousand from each raid. This is a chance 4. to get 9. a whopping oh, wow. 900 Chrono Crystal. This is actually total, going to look so like a pretty do, damn good anniversary so far. Non-stop raids. This is where things get special, though. Listen closely. Okay. If you earn enough exclusive rewards in each raid, you'll also earn raid honors. Using the raid honors you collect, you will be able to exchange for incredible prizes at the exchange shop. Okay. Here are the items you'll be able to exchange for with raid honors. It will include amazing stuff like six Legends Limited Multi Z Power, Chrono Crystals, and more. And that brings us Zenkai, to the Zenkai, program. give us a Zenkai. LF a Zenkai, LF Zenkai, LF Zenkai. LF fucking LF ton of fun. We are not having fun in PvP. For the fifth anniversary campaign. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching until the end. Goodbye everyone. So no LF Zenkai so far, alright. Fuck. Chat, what do you think? WWWLLL. Okay. And sent to chat. What do you have to say? That's 10k put. Yeah, that was. That was a shit ton of CC. WWLL. No Zenkai. Yeah, that's such as no Zenkai so far. Yeah, why are people saying L? This is actually a lot better. This might be the best anniversary so far. If it's double rates, no, I'm saying it's triple rates, double Z power. That's what I'm gonna think it is. Cause there's the so far, I'm thinking first anniversary, fifth, third, fourth, second anniversary. That's my. I don't think people are underestimating how much they're just giving us for free and the amount of events they're actually putting in. You get a chance to get free Z-Power just for logging in. There's the raids for 4.9 CC, missions 4K CC, Shenron CC, free character, 10 sparkings every day with a chance to get a lot. Dude, this anniversary is looking very good. This is the best anniversary banner we've seen since what? This is the best anniversary banner I think we've seen since the second anniversary with VB, Yellow Trunks, and Merge Masu. I think this is arguably better. So far, the, I won't be, I won't hold you against you if you summon on this banner so far, cause you get three spark, there's three sparkings, and trans, one of them's a transforming unit, and then there's an LF that looks absolutely fucking cracked so far. Holy shit! It looks like I. Can't find the character kits. Let me look on Twitter. Ah, right, yeah, I can't find it. All right, well, I, I, this, the universe reps is about to go fucking crazy because you got MVP seventeen, fucking doing insane support abilities. You got a reverse Goku and Frieza, and then you got this Jiren who looks insane. Well, let's see if I get shot or not with my tickets. And maybe I do a few summons as well. Future me, add this shit right now. If I actually get him to it. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. How much is rotation? Three, five, seven, one, one. Three point five. I can, I can, I can uh, set aside that. Wait, downloading right off the bat. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Five pods. Trunks? No. Bardock? Okay! Okay! 
I'm actually getting a fist bump. Wait a second. Wait, this, this, okay, wait, I forgot. There's four sparklings here I can get. Oh, it's casual. Okay. I got hyped over uh, the one we don't want. <laughs> one pod. I don't think it's gonna be anything here. Let me just skip this. Yeah, like I thought. Goku Freezer or Jiren, please. Downloading again. Okay. Oh? Jacko? Gut punch? Blue! Okay, multiple sparkings. No bully. Whatever. One. Two. Three. Four. Sparking. We fucking got him! We fucking got him! <laughs> we got him! Finish his rotation and I'm out. I am out. Okay. Wait, downloading. Jiren? Five pod space? Another bar rock. What the f? I'm getting all the units! Give me Jiren! Give me J Please give me Jiren, actually. He'll be so useful. I need a yellow powerful opponent. Please give me Jiren. Okay, here it is. It's Kiawe. Okay, I'm gonna skip the rest of this. Five pods? Ice stage? No, that is above the No, this is ice stage, yeah. So it could be a Bardock again. And it's not. Two Bardocks in the. <laughs> Bully. No, damn it. Dragon Fist. Okay. This is yeah, I'm mean, excited for a second. I thought it was going to be another fucking Goku and Freezer. Give me Hatcher for nothing. If he gets a Zenkai, that'd be cool, but... Nah. So I guess I can say for three and a half thousand crystals, that's pretty damn good. Ah, uh, well, video tomorrow then. I guess it'd be same day. I don't know. Oh, this would be a minute to edit.